Some of my closest friends know that I love a good quote or motivational phrase. One of my favorite quotes is actually an image. The image features a caterpillar and a butterfly sitting across from one another at a table. The caterpillar looks at the butterfly and has a speech bubble that says, you've changed. The butterfly's response is, we're supposed to. In middle school, I had about 30 kids in my grade. I had my close-knit friend group of four girls that stayed consistent from sixth to eighth grade. Like most middle school girls, we would spend our weekends sitting in a circle talking all night. At the end of eighth grade, one of my friends posed the question, who do we think has changed the most in sixth grade? With little hesitation, my three best friends all agreed that it was me. Definitely Emily, they replied. I took these comments as insults and felt hurt and offended. In what ways did I change? Was it possible to change back? An idea that didn't cross my 14-year-old mind was that maybe this role of being the friend who changed the most was actually a compliment. Maybe this change actually equaled growth. Why would I want to be the same person leaving middle school that I was when it started? Without change, we can't grow. To grow from our starting caterpillars to butterflies, we have to allow ourselves to step outside of our comfort zone. This is something I wasn't ready to do yet at 14. High school started and I followed my friends to our huge public high school in my small town. Long story short, in the midst of COVID online school and isolation, I realized that this was not where I was supposed to be. I toured Baylor February of sophomore year. At this stage in my life, I couldn't even point to Chattanooga on a map, and when our plane landed, I was confused as to whether or not I was in a different time zone than North Carolina. Although I was so used to comfort and familiarity, I had an opportunity in front of me that seemed silly to pass up. In our hotel room that night, my mom said, well, there's definitely a lot to think about, to which I responded, not really. If I get in, I'm going. I started the enrollment process for Baylor that spring, and while I was on my kick of new experiences, another one came my way. I had the opportunity to take a moon dance trip to Yellowstone. When my mom told me that she had called the office multiple times, and this was the only trip they could get me on after the international ones had been canceled for the second year in a row, my immediate response was, tell them I'm good. The idea of backpacking bugs and sleeping in a tent with no running water for two weeks was way out of my comfort zone and just not me. After some thinking, my mindset shifted, and instead of asking myself, why would I go on this trip, I asked myself, why would I not go? This trip ended up being life-changing for me in many ways. One specific moment I'll never forget was when I was rock climbing for the first time in my life. I went on the edge of the mountain with my freshly done manicure. I took a deep breath and thought to myself, I know I can do things I don't think I can. I'd been to my dorm at Baylor, August of junior year, halfway through high school, not knowing a single person except for my roommate Ellie, who coincidentally had the same hot pink roll rabbit bedding as me. After the first half week of school, I felt incredibly overwhelmed and had no idea how I was supposed to fall into place with a group of kids who seemed to have all known each other since freshman year, sixth grade, or even younger. And no matter how many times it was explained to me, I could not understand if our mascot was a tiger or a raider. Although it was a challenge, I took a deep breath and thought, I can do things I don't think I can. Being new is hard anywhere, but I can confidently say that being new at Baylor has to be one of the easiest places to be new. I did not meet a single person who didn't welcome me with open arms. I quickly found my place and am so proud and thankful to have met and loved everyone here. I can point to Chattanooga on a map now, know that we are in the Eastern time zone, and can almost but not quite explain how we are the Raiders and the Tigers. In August, I'll be starting over in a new place again, but my experiences at Baylor have taught me that if you go into any situation, with a kind heart and open mind, your people will undoubtedly find you. Every senior in this room is about to start a new chapter, but I want each of you to view this change as an opportunity. Do not be frustrated or scared when you feel yourself changing, but be excited. If your high school friend group doesn't seem to fit like the perfect puzzle piece it used to the first home visit back, that means you're all growing. And if one of your friends looks at you like mine did in eighth grade and says, you've changed, Feel proud rather than hurt, because change is scary, but so is staying the same, and we're supposed to change. I want to end my speech this morning by thanking my parents for giving me every opportunity in life to grow, my friends, teachers, and dorm family for loving me and helping me to transform from the caterpillar I was coming to Baylor to the butterfly I am standing up here today. Thank you.